everyone this is Jon from Civil Center welcome to our channel as we know Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional and for that we keep making videos on different software and on different topics related to civil engineering field so on our channel you must have found the videos on debit structures and technical structures yes guys now we are going to talk about the differences about that so let's understand what are the differences between debit structure and technical structures and which one is the best for you so over here you can see Tecla structures as well as the Revit structures, both are BIM software and they serve the same purpose. But Revit overall is also serving different purposes like you can do the 2D planning in that, you can also do the 3D modeling in that, along with that you can also do the detailing work. It is a complete building information modeling software also. Now, when it comes to the Tecla structures, you cannot do the like 2D planning, you can't do the 3D modeling, but it is specifically designed for 3D detailings that means once the work of the structural engineer is done he is ready with the structural drawing then they give their work to the detailers who are going to generate the detailed drawing of that project now in Revit you can do all these multiple things that's why it requires a lot of space in your laptop also like if you will just go for the setup of Revit then you will find that it is around 14 to 16 GB depending upon the version to version when it comes to the Tecla structures you will find that it is around 1 to 2 GB depending upon the version to version but one on the one side you have to go for the 14 gb of the software that will be a very heavy software and since it is having uh, like multiple purposes so it is genuine that it is having that much space in the setup itself now when it comes to the tickler structure it is just specifically for the 3d detailing what i personally like that i will tell you in the like end of the end of the video and uh, before that we can just uh, start with the other things also now let's talk about the detailing work of the Revit structure and the Tecla structures now when it comes to the detailing work even in Revit you can do the modeling and you can also like uh, process the bars but here you will find the tools that are not very much developed for the Indian environment however if you go to the Tecla structures you can do the same thing as in Revit however the interface of the Tecla structures is very much easy but you will find the tools that are very much applicable to the Indian environment also as well as in 32 different environments. So you can see Tecla structures is already available in 17 different languages and is ready for the 32 different environments. That is the perk of the uh, Tecla structures. So you can just check up the uh, projects from any of the country that is using the detailing work. Now, here is the next thing. So we have like described about the tools. Now in the tools, Tecla structures is the better one. Now the next thing is the drawing generation. Personally, I like the drawing generation of the Tecla structures because you, you will just create the model over there and it will automatically generate the drawing and you will not have to do a lot of the manual modification over there. You can just do the modification in the model and it will automatically reflect in your drawing. You can also get all these things in the Revit that you can just uh, do the modeling, you can generate the drawings, but there you will have to re the drawings in order to like make it a submission drawing. Okay, so you will have to like uh, uh, put on a lot of effort when you have to uh, go for the drawing generation part, you have to like adjust a lot of things. But in the Tecla structures, the drawing generation is very much smooth and you can simply observe that it is taking up everything in detail and it is properly like scaling all the models and it is having all the views in a proper format and if, then comes the drawing modification part. So first is the drawing generation part where a Revit is like not as good as Tecla but next come to the drawing modification part now you can modify the Tecla structures drawing very easily however when it comes to the Revit again you will have to put a little bit of the effort however you will have to just uh, go for the modification processes and it depends upon how uh, one is like uh, willing to put the efforts okay so each software is good but I personally like the uh, part where the Tecla structure plays really very good. Okay, next thing is uh, uh, like if you want to install the software then you will have to go for the system requirement also. So 
these are the BIM softwares and these are automatically the heavy software. So you will need at least of i5 processor as well as 8 GB RAM in order to work on it. But if you are having the 16 GB RAM, both of the software will run smooth on that. And the better the graphics is, the better it will be. So the processor, the RAM and the uh, like graphics requirement is good for both of it. However, with Tecla structures, you can work with two gigahertz graphics card, but you with Revit, you will have a minimum requirement of 2.5 gigahertz graphics card. So in the system requirement also, Tecla beats Revit uh, with a remarkable uh, thing. So you can just uh, start on with Tecla structures when it comes to the system requirements. Now, when it comes to the generation of the speed drawing, because everyone is doing the detailing just to generate the drawings and the generation of the drawings in Tecla structure is way more faster than in Revit. However, when it comes to the changes like um, as, like uh, you are making any modification in the model and now you want to uh, go for the drawing generation then it will automatically change the drawing in the class structures as well as in the repeat structure so at this stage both are equally good but after like considering all the aspects i would suggest that you can go with the tecla structures if you are new to the detailing and if you are someone who is like making like 2d plan and 3d model and then also doing the detailing work then uh, you can go with the Revit. Uh, but for the detailers, like if you are like uh, finding a job for a particularly uh, detailing work, okay, then you can go with Tecla structures. And now when it comes to the job opportunities, there are a lot of job opportunities when it comes to the Tecla structures because uh, there are a lot of requirements because of the MNCs are following the Tecla structures right now. Okay, so they are like opening up the job for the Tecla models, Tecla de detailers, and you can find a number of jobs on the LinkedIn as well as on other job hunting websites. So in this video, we have already talked about the, the differences and first one was what is the BIM use of these two softwares. So Revit and Tecla are equally good. Next comes the tools. In the tools, a Tecla beats Revit and Tecla structures is the better one when it comes to the already made tools. Okay, so like the tools that are being offered by the software. Next thing that we have over here is multi-purpose of the structures. So in this Revit beats Tecla because in Revit you can do the 2D planning, 3D modeling, as well as the detailing work. However, in Tecla structures, you can just go for the detailing work. However, you can import the different types of the models, and the, but that is good for both of the software. So, uh, for the multi-purpose work, Revit beats Tecla. Now, when it comes to the system requirements, you can go with the Tecla structures that that will not require very much of the system, and it can work with a uh, like a weaker system also rather than Revit. However, since it is a BIM software, so here you will have to definitely go with the uh, like the high configuration laptop for both the softwares but there is a like a minor difference over there and you can go with tecla structure so over here tecla structure is beating a rabbit okay next is the speed of the drawing generation and the effectivity of the drawings so here also tecla beats rabbit so personally i recommend tecla to all of you however if you want to learn the tecla structures or the rabbit structures you can simply go ahead and check out the channel of civil center and you will find a lot of videos over there which will help you out with your career and you can easily uh, find a job or you can start yourself as a freelancer also, if you want to start your career as a building consultant, then you can simply go ahead and find a free webinar in the description. Go ahead, check out that and you can book a free strategy call with us. And you have, if you have liked this video, then hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. And for more such informative videos, just press the bell icon over there and we will meet again sooner. Thank you.